Hello everybody, today I'm going to unbox a good budget Asus uh, VivoBook. It's a big 17.3 inch laptop, which is a good substitute for a desktop. 17.3 is as big as it gets. Comes like this in standard uh, Asus box, seal here, specs there, some basic information on this side. More detailed over here. 17.3 Full HD means it's a 1080p, which is pretty good. Uh, i3 12th gen, which is a, a good basic uh, CPU. It's probably as fast as i7 from like seven years ago. So this i3 is good. Um, 256 PCI Express SSD. It's pretty fast. DDR4, unfortunately not DDR5, but that's always the case with the budget uh, laptops like this. We have Wi-Fi 6, which is great. Windows 11 Home. Laptop here, we're gonna get back to it in a second. Some papers, uh, manual papers, stuff like that. Here we have the charger. Here we have some more papers more papers 65 watt which is uh, pretty good it's not 45 65 is fine um, 100 to 240 volt means it can work anywhere but you'll need an adapter if you need for a different power outlet and this is the laptop we have a book we're going to compare it to smaller ones like uh, 15 inch 14 inch 13 inch, I have different laptops to compare the size. 17.3 is as big as it gets. Oh, nice. This is a new model VivoBook from uh, 2022, rather like end 2022. Comes with fingerprint here. Very large touchpad, which is always nice. Um, cheap plastic buttons. They look good though. The looks is really good. Kind of comparable to HP. Says VivaBook over here, right? Screen. We have shutter. Everybody has shutters now, which is nice. Uh, Basil is a uh, is a decent size for such a big uh, laptop. I have here for softer closing. Power button is here, which is uh, not ideal. I prefer it to be somewhere on the side a little bit so you don't hit it accidentally. Luckily, it's a big screen, so it has near some less important buttons. It's not like near enter or backspace. We have some writing here, 180 angle, which means you can do like this. This is 180, right? You can put it flat for whatever reason. Uh, Canceling, Wi-Fi, i3 here, scan to learn more. Here we have USB-C, two USB-A, HDMI, headphone input, uh, this is for charging. This side another USB-A. If you have everything except for SD card, I would uh, be happy if it had SD card slot somewhere here. Thickness over here, pretty good. It's uh, pretty thin. Over here, it gets a little bit bigger. It has this uh, bumps over here, which are actually good for ventilation, for cooling cereal there, model number and everything. We have this uh, screws here. Also no RJ45 and no Kensington lock, but it's fine. I was thinking to upgrade it, add uh, another 8GB of RAM, but 
Um, I wasn't able to open it, I unscrewed it and uh, then it's so tight everywhere here. I feel like I'm gonna break it if I try to open it, so I'll keep it at that. 8GB of RAM is, is still pretty good after all, it's, it's fine. It's only i3, so you know, the CPU is somewhat average by modern standards, so and 8 gig, it's a good uh, pair for it. So here we have 17 inch Asus, 15 inch uh, 2021 HP, 14 inch 2021 uh, Lenovo IdeaPad, and this one is 13 inch Dell XPS. But this one is kind of premium, so it has very small basil. That's why it looks very tiny. Yep, that's as big as it gets, 17 inch. If you have a desktop, you can use like um, 49, 32, 28, even like smallest 24, 22 inch monitors. They'll be much bigger.